All right, so we've got a selection of ammo choices from H&N, and we have the brand new AEA SF Compact in 25 cal. We're going to test this thing out today at 25 yards and 50 yards with some H&N Barracudas and some H&N Slugs. All right, so I'm making a quick little adjustment to the scope so I can put them all on the red. All right, well, here's a couple 25-yard groups. And that one really dialed it in on the red. Shot this one first using the H&N Barracudas. And I made a little correction to the scope. Brought it up here and smackety smack all right there. Nice groups, these squares. I try to draw them about an inch in size. This one might be a little smaller, this one a little larger, but you guys get the idea. There are two awesome 25 yard semi-auto groups using the H&N Barracudas and the AEA SF Compact. All right, so after I shot that first group, went ahead and got it zeroed for the 50 yard target so that I could try and put the next five shot group all on the red. I love these ATN scopes because they're just so easy to zero. You just move the X to where you were hit, hold the old X on where you were aiming, done, super easy. All right, let's shoot. All right, so here's a little look at how those groups turned out for us. We had the cider group up here with the barracudas, and then I dialed it in, trying to get them on the square, and I actually shut this group down there. Didn't quite hit the square, but got them a lot closer. So with the semi-auto recoil in this, 50-yard grouping is not easy. I mean, I'm trying to lock it into the bags as best as I can, um, but you can see the slugs definitely are able to do a little bit better at this distance than the pellets. We've got this group down here, not bad at all. So I corrected the sighting, brought it down to that, and shot this group up here. Still didn't hit the X, but... Again, pretty dang close. Had this one flyer here, so I decided I'd circle them so you guys could see. This is the slugs, and that was the barracudas. So there you have it. Not bad grouping out of a semi-auto carbine, literally with an 8-inch barrel, guys. Got to give it some credit for that. Pretty decent.